Who the frig's this? <laughs> There's a the key. Where's my key? I blocked out, bud. Oh, I'm going back there. Fuck off. Already. <laughs> you all. What was it called? The Spire Brewery. Something to aspire to. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Stephanie. She's uh, coming to the Japanese later. She's serving. Yeah, she is. Uh, she's going to be laid down naked. <laughs> going to be pineapple rings on and on her boobs and all that kind of jazz. <laughs> That was 23 minutes, bud. Buckle up for safety. Oh my goodness. Sure, just belligerent here. No, we're gonna die! Oh my goodness. Need helmet on. I've got helmet on. Tunnel song. Hey. Sounded awesome, didn't it? <laughs> Did you hear echo? Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Can't afford curtains, <laughs> they just paint the windows. Hutchinson's wholesale drinks, beers, wines, you've got an wholesale server. Yeah. Ah. I went there for a bottle of gas. <laughs> Did they tell you to piss off? <laughs> she says, uh, what pub? I said, what pub? Oh, my pub. <laughs> <laughs> my house. It's such a squeaky poos. Only reason I'm keeping contract with uh, Gas Direct is because I get the oxygen off them and nobody else does oxygen. The old do, 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 do. What? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I still don't know what you're on about, but it's, do, it's a great do, 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 do. tune. Who? <laughs> 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 oh? <laughs> it's Jean Michel Jarre. Who's he? Oxygen. No. You don't know who Jean Michel Jarre is? He's a chef, isn't he? The only <laughs> way to cook an egg is to poach it in butter. It's the hospital. It's where Ellie was born. Oh, yeah. In that bus lane. <laughs> and conceived. <laughs> Quite fitting, really. Is it that one? There's a bag! Not unless he's in that bleeding shipping container. <laughs> Look at that place. He said he's a green unit. That looks like a green unit. Some, Some lane, lane farm. farm. I don't think he's that big. Oh, it must be down here, look. Must be down here. You reckon that's about trots? I fucking hope not. Oh that's yeah, him. that's the one. That's Friggin the brew or I. He's got some big tanky poos in there, hasn't he? Just a bit. Jesus wept. Did you sent it? Oh my, look at oh that. Oh my this. goodness. Sweet. That's Robin. Okay. Big remote chiller. Fucking too right, buddy. So 15 barrel, that one? Yeah. See, it's awkward, isn't it, to whip the old camera out? I didn't want to because I thought yeah. people like doing deals and stuff. Yeah. It starts getting funny. They don't always like it. That's like when I'm up, to, up at the welders, uh, the fabricators there. Because there's four or five different lads in there. They're all doing a job. You, it only takes one of them to go, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And if they don't like it, then you ruin your relationship with company, you know? Yeah. All right, fellas. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I've got a few clips to uh, shove into this video. I uh, haven't seen them yet, so I don't know how they've come out. But basically, Harry came over Saturday afternoon because um, he was going to do a few deals at a brewery, Spire Brewery, which is uh, just at the other side of town for for me. So he said, "Do you want to come along, have a look at this guy's setup?" I'm like friggin' yes, I do. I took the camera, but uh, didn't get much filming done because Harry's got to do some deals with this guy, and I didn't want to piss him off by sort of filming in his brewery but some uh, some funny things went down in that brewery. We walked into this brewery which is not like this little industrial unit and we walked in and there was just a river of water sort of pooling at the door 
and he got the shutter doors up and we went in and he like paddled through this water shook his hands and the HLT was draining well, draining water it was draining water out of this massive massive pipe and uh, all over the floor and I thought oh, he's got the vac out you know he's washing the floors uh, we were there for about half an hour before he just suddenly started <laughs> effing and blinding and shouting at this as he went over to the HLT he'd left it on and it had overfilled but it was doing that for ages and uh, <laughs> he hadn't even noticed but we went there we did some deals and then we went out for Japanese food in the evening and then hit a few uh, hit a few pubs in Chesterfield finished up at the White Swan where we had uh, oh, many drinks of beers and ciders and uh, wheat beers but we finished off with this one uh, we took this one home. He, he took, I think he drank his uh, when he got in. Uh, I saved mine. I thought oh, I'll film it. I'll film it. I'll put it in this video. It's the Session India Pale Ale Easy IPA from Flying Dog. It's got it cracked open. Oh, not much of a hiss on that one. And then I uh, managed to get beer everywhere. Oh my goodness. Pouring nice anyway. Twelve fluid ounces. Ah, all is well with the world. I've run out of beer, by the way. Holy shit, that smells nice. Oh my goodness. I've had a few uh, session IPAs that um, in the past have been really really sessionable like three percent and they haven't really cut the mustard so let's see if this is any better oh man that's a lot better holy smokes that's good uh, session India Pale Ale, session IPA 4.7 so it's encroaching on five percent um, and it's good it's good, it's really dry, really grapefruity, nice bitter finish. Nice clean taste to it. Ah, oh, a high end light mouthfeel. Just just encroaching into medium but, but mainly light. Mmm. So um I've run out of beer. I've completely run dry. Um, the stout kicked yesterday. When we got back from seeing this brewery, I managed to pour a pint and a quarter off the off the uh, stout before it kicked. So uh, luckily, Harry managed to get uh, a taste of it, and he, he liked it, which is good. The pail's gone, which means I want to be brewing again pretty damn soon. Although it's tight for time, because at the back end of this month, one of the Saturdays is taken up um, by brewing the Coconut Sharpie Egg at Ida Valley Brewery, because people are screaming for it, apparently. They just keep asking for it. So we're doing that again, which is fantastic. Oh, but I wouldn't mind brewing up something like this. A nice, flavourful, almost toffee-like IPA. But keeping it low ABV, something around this, 5%, 4 and a, half. a session IPA packed full of tropical goodness. Mm. And that's it guys, that's it. I've got some beer reviews to come up. And they will be coming up pretty pretty soon because uh, we're out of beer. So I need to drink these if I need to have a beer. But we've got another 5 in there to review. And... Uh, I'm frigging rights to that. But anyway, guys, I don't know where this video's going, but I'll see you again with another one. This is frigging awesome. Easy IPA. Check it out. Go and get one. Give it a try. Can we enjoy the rest of this and edit this up? My goodness. Oh. So that's it, fellas. Mm -mm. That is it. So as always, don't forget to thumb up this video. It keeps you doing what I do. Don't forget to subscribe. Little red button down here to subscribe. Click it and you won't miss out on what's coming up next. Share the video and get it over all to see. Until next time, I'm out of here.